Hello, friends. Let's talk. Kick the can. This is your guide to ditching processed foods and embracing a healthier you. I'm Anita Norris, and this is Anita Life of Wellness. I mean, here you are. You're this amazing CrossFit mom. You started this journey um, and are really impressed, you know, with, <clears throat> with your guns and how your fitness has blossomed. But if you're like me, maybe you're wondering, why hasn't the scale moved down? And, and where is the clothes fit differently, not significantly? Because you're not any smaller. And you've had the opportunity to do a nutrition challenge or two. Um, but you really decided not to because it frankly looked intimidating and you just didn't want to fail once again. Well, let's chat. I'm a mom of three, and when I started CrossFit nearly 14 years ago, they were quite young. And I didn't think I'd have to change my diet too radically to see those beautiful results. <laughs> I was really wrong. And this video is about my failure. I didn't know about processed foods, um, so I want to share with you how to gradually swap out those processed foods for the healthier choices. We all know we need the healthier choices. And we're gonna jump in on that topic right after the prayer. Our Father in heaven, we humbly come before thee and thank thee for this day. We are so grateful for thy hand in our lives to lead us and to guide us and to teach us we ask that thou wilt watch over us and help us to be brave, to make the decisions and the choices that will draw us closer to thee, that will help us lose the desire for the um, fat-producing, nasty, processed foods. In, in our minds, we know that they're not good for us, and yet... I keep going back. I pray thou wilt lead me to make better choices. Help us all to make better choices that we may serve thee with all our heart, might, mind, and strength. And this I say in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Why are processed foods a concern? Um... Hopefully we all know processed foods are everywhere. They're convenient, but are often filled with those preservatives, artificial flavors, a ton of sugar and salt and fat. And it's not just about the weight gain. It really is about the overall health. So let's talk about the hidden cost of processed foods. You may think you're saving money by buying cheaper processed foods, but have you considered the hidden costs? I'm not just talking about, well, the added expense of needing larger clothing sizes or maybe spending more on beauty products. The real costs come later and in various forms, like medical expenses, because consuming high levels of sugar, salt, and trans fats can lead to chronic conditions like diabetes, high blood pressure, and heart disease. And these not only decrease your quality of life, but also come with hefty medical bills and medications. We also have the time spent on healthcare. The countless hours spent visiting doctors, sitting in waiting rooms, and even days taken off work to recover at home. Time is our most precious commodity, and poor health takes it away from you. But there's also decreased productivity. The lack of essential nutrients can significantly affect your energy levels and cognitive function, impacting your productivity at work, but more importantly, at home. There's an emotional toll because processed foods high in sugars and fats can mess with your mood and even contribute to depression and anxiety. The emotional toll and potential therapy or medication costs really should not be overlooked. But let's um, talk about investing in better nutrition that isn't just, I mean, we do it not just to look good. It's an investment in your future health, your mental well-being, and, well, your time and your wallet. 
So let's talk healthier alternatives. Switching doesn't mean sacrificing taste because fruits, vegetables, lean meats, and whole grains are not only nutritious, but also delicious. Plus, you can get creative with the herbs and spices that you use. Now, let's talk about some transition tips because starting is often the hardest part. So let's start small. If soda is your vice, try swapping it with flavored water or herbal teas. Do you love chips? I know I do. How about some crunchy veggies with hummus? That's a good option. So we wanna set achievable goals. There are milestones like, um, well, this week I'll replace my afternoon snack with a fruit. And as you hit these goals, the sense of accomplishment will keep you totally motivated. Now, here's where things get really tricky. We need to read the labels. There are some things that we need to notice. <clears throat> so look at the ingredients list. The fewer, the better. And if you can pronounce all of them, that's a great sign. Ingredients are listed by quantity from the highest to the lowest. Aha, but don't be deceived by serving sizes. What seems like low calories or sugar, you got to check the serving size to consider how many servings you'll actually consume. And here's the most important one, added sugars. It's not just about the sugar, though. You need to look for terms like corn syrup, high fructose corn syrup, sucrose, fructose, etc. Sodium. The American Heart Association recommends no more than 2,300 um, milligrams a day, but an ideal limit is closer to 1,500 milligrams for most adults. Trans fats, look for that on the label. Even if the label says zero, food companies are allowed to round down if it's less than half grams per serving. And look for the partial, partially hydrogenated oils in the ingredients. Also, we need fiber. Fiber is good for us. So aim for foods with higher fiber content for better digestion and satiety. Finally, well, not finally, but important is the protein because that's what the body uses for it, tissue repair and can make you feel fuller longer. And then we have vitamins and minerals. The higher percent DV or daily value, the more nutrients you're getting, mm, kind of. Okay, you see the thing is, it's not just about what's in the food that you're buying, but how it's been processed. Because just because they put it in there, especially with vitamins, doesn't mean you're getting it out. I do have a story about that, but that's for a later day. Let's talk about smart shopping habits. The grocery store can be a minefield, but Sticking to the outer aisles where the fresh foods are can really be a game changer. This is one I have learned the hard way and I have to relearn it about every four months or so. Also, never shop hungry. <laughs> yeah, I'm not real great at that either. But here's where things can really be different. Meal prep magic. Planning is key. Spend some time each week prepping meals and snacks. It's easier to make healthy choices when they're readily available. Planning a menu for the week will help with the budget too. Also, let's get our family involved. Make it a fun weekend activity to cook together. After all, you're not just improving your life, but also setting an example for your loved ones. What's better than that? Okay, let's recap. We want to start small, set achievable goals, become a label detective, shop smart, don't go hungry, you need to meal prep, you don't need to, it's just helpful, and involve your family. That's it today. That's it. I hope you found this video helpful, so hit that like button if you did and share your journey in the comments. Let's inspire each other to be our best selves. Till next time. See ya. Thank you.